especially mounted as well. He can see everything. He's got that third person uh, spectator going for him while he's mounted. So very influential to get his team some information. And now that they're trying to get aggressive, there is a nice pull and trying to still get in. No one's fallen as of yet, but Eager is kind of falling back. A lot of poke coming out again from this Diggy Dog who finds himself a double. An all set up by the slow coming out of the shock pulses. Diggy Dog picks up a triple and that's a full team wipe coming through. Team Eager just come through from Kanga Esports looking to take out Makoa. Wi-Fi survives though. Grumpy Bob is going to disrupt the mix a bit, but Shady picks up a double before they get stunned. And with, well, a triple as Chronix goes down. Shaolin getting Eager a good defense. But they might be able to have a chance. And Josh Kent got two, but can't get three. But he shuts them down in midair. Crossfire is available. Ancient Rage has expired. But now the Dome Shield is here. Hades has got to use it. If they want a defense for the burst, comes through way too fast. Dragon Punch not going to be used here. Or Channel Killing Spree for Bidey. And the kills just keep on rolling. Will Ghost Ward be long enough? No, the shutdown comes through. The Poppy Bomb into the air. The midair. Tyra Grenade launcher oh, shot. to find the stabilization play, but it's going to come from the salvo. Yeah, and that's absolutely great to find the invisible at the time. A bitey and a double kill for Diggy Dog looking for a situation. And this is what I think Kanga's been waiting for thus far. They have yet to get an opportunity to be aggressive. They like to hold down that W. Diggy Dog and Stolzy is still looking to frag three low health members. Stolzy picks up Chronix, looks for the God Slayer reversal, the double kill onto Joel's, looking for the triple kill, finds the flick, yeah, eight Chronix goes recharging down. the barricade too is going to keep Torvald in the mix for a second longer, but it just doesn't stop the onslaught of damage coming through. 87% for Kanga. Team Eager are dropping like flies. Do they have the sustain to keep themselves in this fight? No, Diggy Dog goes immortal. 11 kill streak finds a 699. That's going to be victory. Kanga Esports. They Hero point and low health. I mean, all of those eggs are in the right path. That's bottom of the ninth. Two, three on, two out. You're down by four and hitting the Glant Slam. Yeah, right there. unbelievable stuff there by Bugsy. Two minutes now. D69 in the lead off the back of their captain's plays. And man, he may be silent in real life, but he is speaking louder than you could imagine here in this game. Fusillade hitting them all. Oh, long range. He takes them down. Chronix doesn't know where to go. Waving his arms in the air, asking for God to give him a prayer. But there are none to be answered. A minute and 43. It's absolutely incredible. Bugsy still showing up, oh! but again, Joel's timing the ice block perfectly. Oh! A huge double, looking for possibly more. 15. Much damage. You have to find a way to come together and just take whoever is most out of position. If you're oh! Good show. Oh Headshot. Perno able to find so many clutch shots looking for more on Joel's, who's very low. We'll find the double. Can he find three? The law is ready. There's a couple oh! more targets. Does he even need oh! it? Perno cleans up. Gang of esports know who the top dogs are. Headshot. Headshot. Rampage. And he's making sure that Joel's doesn't get top damage this game. Josh Kent running for his life, but those illusions ain't full in justice. Oh my goodness. It will hunt you down. The Magnums coming to life, finding rounds in the chamber and rounds in. Jeez. are rolling through right now. They only need the King Bomb to maybe convert, but Stolzy takes out Pings, finds a double kill on the Skullist, and they've taken the wind out of the sails of Cube Team and can now at last establish a defense. One minute oh. and 14 seconds left on this push. There's still chance for Cube to come back through. Uh, Stolzy's gotten like seven. objective. Two minutes and 15 in, and it's all about Team Eagle oh. on the retake. Triple uh, kill for Body. You might want to move there, That's buddy. a trap. Yeah. And it, it just seemed like... That's a damage, though. And that is going to be uh, good. GTFA shown that he knows how to deal with Androxus. It's Stolzy. It's going to get hit by Godslayer. Whoa! The turnaround shot. Defiance. Are you kidding me? Oh, this Whirlwind Grover keeping everyone alive before Cauterize can take effect. And Wi-Fi will fall, Arai will fall as well. And this is just looking like a very strong hold unless Shades can Superman it. So far he can't, but Bidey with a triple kill. If he gets this quadra, Bidey might just do it. He got oh. it. He picked Warm Jets on this map. And uh, of course he doesn't have the Deep Roots Grover to be the setup. He's got the Makoa, but they're not really working the way Pings is working to just set up the easy oh. fire. Now Lex has free reign. Headshot, headshot. 
and he looks to take down GTF. Triple kill for Stolze. Take maybe, away. maybe delayed Quadra here. Not are about to go down. It will be Stolze who comes out on top. And that quarterize on the Grover. Quarterize three at this stage of the game when it's one to one is brutal. Tug goes down as well. You think Barrack's going to be safe there? Bidey just worm jets directly through the barricade and starts dropping shots immediately straight Bidey. down onto the barrack. He's not saying he, that barricade isn't hindering Bidey. He's not trying no. to shoot through it. He's just going straight through it himself and bypassing it entirely. That stationary shield is no longer the path of safety. The tracking coming through from Bidey too as well oh, no. is enormous. And this is Team Eager looking to push through. Well, this damage is going to be huge, but the Dragon Punch is ready. And he's going to make sure he's aware of Rukia. He's going to try and find her out. She'll finish off Nana, who would have been the tank. Double kill again. Stolze takes down Skullis. Doesn't get the King Bomb off. That is uh, basically two, maybe three points now that he will have that ultimate and not have been able to use it. The oh! long of the victory and moving on. The sustain is here, Diggy Dog coming, ripping around the corner, Ooh. and the King Bomb will find a ride. That's absolutely huge. It actually disables Makoa for a while. You see through the shade, he had to actually move and use Whoa, the shells to get back. The Grumpy might be able to find more. Double kill for Diggy Dog. Crossfire is being activated, but Diggy's not afraid of it whatsoever and jumps in. Eager looking for their angle. Kanga looking to hold. It comes a long distance planet. Joel's going to be healed up. A fair bit from these Ying clones. Illusory Rift has been popped. Bidey oh gets taken gosh. out of the air. Beautiful tracking from Joel's. And that's the same key. Uh -oh. And then going in for more as he gets himself a triple as he finds a lot of damage dropping down from the skies of his own with the barrage. And now with just the Ying left alive, she's trying to dodge, but Arai cannot make it. They have to drive a team fight home. And it can. It absolutely can, especially for hitting shots and getting right into this. Wow, Ooh, a big right. ice storm right on top. And this is going to allow Diggy Dog to absolutely go off. Josh Kent and Diggy Dog combined, able to take away two. You saw Stolze using the teleport to get away. Will he be able to continue that survivability? It will not happen. I think Eager are starting to wise up to this little trick coming out from Diggy Dog. Here uh -oh. comes the ultimate King Bomb up in the air. Headhunter eats a big shot. Needs to be careful here. Whips it around back onto the point. Wow. Big kill on the Shady Shades. And the stun onto Moore. As you see, Hades is right there with the Fire Huge. Lance. Able to do a lot of damage himself. So now it is just up to Arai and Stolze. While this is an overtime, if they want to contest this, but unstoppable. Absolutely nothing for these huge ultimates. Here comes the King Bomb. Give your king a big hug. Nicky Dog coming uh -oh. around the corner. No Ancient Rage available. Two kills for the Bomb King already. Josh can't find one. Nicky Dog looking for one more. But that is... his attention onto him. He will go down quickly, but here's the Dragon Punch. He will be looking to find a tank. He's going to go left, right, center, try and duck and dive, and he will find Prince Danny TV, though it's not the most value. He gets some value. He takes his primary counter out of the sky, though. Big Salvo, the dredge anchor to clump them up, and both punished. Modestina finds a double kill three in this engagement. He's looking to make and get that much closer to moving on to the next round. Very, very low is everyone from WASD right now surging forward. Unbelievable. Already with a double kill looking for more. One more shot's going to do it on to Jake B. Unby with a triple kill here. Spot in the group stages is a great angle for it. Kamaker finds a double kill. Two more low HP targets. Spunky takes down Bubble Boy before he can trick her. His final face spin. staring. Elimination in the face. And uh, they could go down with Cube and with wow. Eager 100 as being accuracy. the teams here that are not going to advance. They've got to defend, but this Bomb King, a King Bomb, seems to be the answer for WASD to secure themselves a spot. In fact, it will. Carbon 6 will be off the table. Yeah, that's without a doubt. And looking to see how Carbon 6 is going to respond. They do not want to let this Kinesic get set up. They're going in very early with the King Bomb, able to stun up. Bonker's not able to find the line this You see him struggling to try to find a way to do damage at the moment. And this is, again, the kind of downside of Knesset. That being said, Lazy doesn't matter where he is. He's going to be able to find damage on the bomb game. Woo! Headshot comes through from Bonker, though. It takes down Ying. Lazy and Thiel wipe out two more. Bonker with the carbine double kill. Looking for the triple. Can't find the angle onto Lex. has been used maybe a little bit too early. King Bomb does not find the damage, but Lazy follows up, and this is looking good for Carbon 6 on the ring. 
don't keep. Whilst uh, if Theo oh. doesn't go the right way, if Theo makes the wrong directional call, it gives Agate so much chance to start fragging. Headhunter has come out. One big shot on Theo finds a second to slay Bonka. Dredjack, oh. double kill. Down. Yeah. Lex, a little bit too far away maybe, but still on the objective will be Ying. This is not a good spot to be at for both Ying and Crimson as they both straight to the back uh -oh. line. He's going to place the Poppy Bomb. King Bomb is ready. Uh -oh. Here it goes. The combo coming through. Headhunter uh -oh. activated, but the grouping is a little bit too much. Dread Serpent confirms the lockdown double kill. They take this one very quickly for now. And it will be a nice takeoff from Evil Eye, but Hexafire in the back line is doing so much damage. Is it enough? Half Shell comes down on the point. Overtime has already been started for WASD. Unbelievable firing for free. No pressure being felt. Mudasina takes out Wardim. Cuscuni, the only one here. Dosip's just flopping onto the point. He has no other choice. Of course, and find himself a pit, but Spunky again able to find a way to keep hooking in some of these big targets as Evil by falls. Uh, he needs to reload now. One more shot from Spunky's gonna do it. Dosip's healed up to full. It's gonna be so dangerous. Triple kill now. Oh, you wanna be if you're Astral against a Bomb King. That Grupper Bomb absolutely eliminates any chance of them getting to point. And even though they are in a 4v5, that's really easy damage for Spunky. He's able to take out Dosip's, who is trying to sneak through in the withdrawal. And more kills coming on the outside as you see Andrew in the background allowing Spunky to come in and look for the potential to Play, triple oh, actually coming off very early on does not connect with any kills and now Modestina with the accursed arm looking to follow up miss. able to hit every single shot and that cursed revolver looking for more as he's able to hit on the back end of her what? what a flick shot are you kidding me Modestina someone put a Except the King Bomb, it comes through. Doesn't find a lot of value, but so much clumping. Clutch Drudge Anchor just to pull Dosups away from the rest of the team. Astral wow. Thorin trying to go big. Dosups does get the double kill here. Cuss Cutie with a big kill on the Mudasina on the high ground. Three members against one. Unbelievable. Goes down. Cuss Cutie with. And Navoli was there as well as he tried to find one, but did fall for his effort. Wardoom also down. Mudastina in the air looking to capitalize things. WASD so close at 99%, but the overtime keeps going. An annihilation for Mudastina. The Ice Storm on point, but nobody else around. And WASD take down. He gets dredged into danger. Out comes the Dread Serpent. Excuse me, out comes the Ancient Rage. Dread Serpent already burned. Spunky takes down Thiel as well, and Dragon Punch used to clean up Bonka. But not Pop. Mudasina uses the Buck Wild to clean up the Dragon out of the sky. Ancient Rage is here. Unbelievable. Sitting on this Hexafire. He might need to chew through that 10,000 HP, but he's just so tanky with a double kill already. WASD looking good for their hold. That looked like an accident. Enough. Unbelievable, just so tanky on the payload push. Kamaker holding things down with his Barrack Northernberg falls as well. Mudastina looking for Lazy. He's going to be picked up by Skelgan. An unbelievable. Six. Spunky then straight to the back Big line gets kill. impaled. Misplay, a mistake, misplay way ahead of themselves. Did not expect the team to be there. Bonkar picks up a double, looks for damage, picks up a triple as Kamaker just stands them. Very happy to trade at this stage of the game, one for one. Oh my goodness, double kill, triple kill there from Munis. They find conversion, here comes the King Bomb, double kill for Lazy, three kills, finally, triple kill for... Coming towards Evil Eye, trying to finish him off, Fox. 93% natural authority with Sonic going down, looking control. Overtime is taking the salvo onto Ying. We'll pick up the double kill, trying to find the triple kill. Bullione stay Woo! alive, no. The Bomb King gets hooked, though, and again, Sonic falls thanks to the pressure coming out from Wardoom. He seems to feel comfortable, Fox. A crucial here in that again. last engagement. The Dredjank has just come through. Wardoom pulls in the enemy frontliner. They go down, and it's frontline versus no frontliner. An easy yeah. hold, and Ice oh. Storm sets up the perfect. Two closes oh, the gap, no. the bombs come out for a dose ups. Do we have anything available oh, no. for Noxens to keep themselves in this? Makoa doesn't have ancient rage. The Lord's got to get back here and it's got to be big, but it's Zadok against the world. Oh. Astral Authority claim victory. What a point retake. Tries to get back, he won't be able to. The Fire Lance just too much, but Mudestina's going off for free. There's two low takes, oh. and Mudestina finds the triple. But it really forces the team away and doesn't really serve to group them all together. It'd be cool if uh, we had that coming soon to the realm. But right now we see formidable Fernando standing up. He's got the Aegis through. That's the legendary he's running, and the Immortal has saved his teammates. Like the 
King Bomb here could be valuable, but does Dosips want to use it, Alan? It's a big resource, and he might want to save it for oh, next round. I don't know. I mean, he's getting the kills, and yeah, there's a, not a lot of time left, but this double kill is really resulting in just a really good opportunity to get more, at least... It, and they might have just captured this yet again. And Dosups is doing a really good job of hitting this Drogos midair, and they will find it again. So 3-2 plus the Modestina kill. Now also Spunky uh -oh. going down. Uh -oh. That's all Dosups from downtown looking for more. Will he be able to grab it? He will with the look like the on the flip side, does WASD need to drop anything? There is the Dread Silver coming out here, Evan. I don't know if it's going to be enough, though. Let me tell you what Dosips needs to drop. He's got to somehow win a fight against Modestina here. He's going to pop up in the air and throw the Grumpy Bomb away, and it may give him time. The Gord's here, so full health. Can't make kill the Dragon. He's going to die here, most likely, as a result of being vulnerable, but Modestina is still alive somehow. But that will be the end for him. Skill gain, and can he go down? Kamiker gets impaled by Evil Eye, and that could mean that it's Astral Authority's chance to turn it into a win. Wardoom and Eyedrop Bodies are also still up, making their way back to point, and Dosops is somehow still alive, looking for damage. Here comes Wardoom, the savior. Will he be able to convert it? Overtime has been going for so long. Munistina will not be able to convert. The Lex Ultimate finds one. Can it get up the clean? Eyedrop Bodies with a double, oh, looking for more. I can't believe this. This overtime has lasted forever, and it's given WASD a chance to pull it through. And despite the law cleaning up one, it has bought them enough time to to be able to stave this off for the moment. Cus Cutie is here. They've got two ultimates oh. on the board, but Modestina and Kamiker are doing work, and Spunky gets the last one at doors. Effective damage off from the point and get 24% before the fights even started. I drop bodies in the back line, just pressuring the barrack. It's 3v1. Oh this stay at home God. dad is getting pressured outside, and he's not used to the sun. He's got a big tan. Link here on this barrack, maybe not having the most impressive performances on him. And, uh, you know, that has been shown to be proved. Oh, oh, double kill bodies! Takes it to the body and goes in. Oh. Oh. I drop bodies. What they've got on Astral Authority. The Dread Serpent is going to push him away, and the eyedrop body is going to go into the air. Evil Eye gets one. Dosips gets another. Oh. Evil Eye gets two. And there's the combustion from the fire spit. One more for Evil Eye. Sign me up for the semifinals, Astral Authority says, because they're going in North America. Puts as much damage as he possibly can into the rest of D69. Big Mojo. Uh-oh, he's trying to fry the chickens. They're having dinner tonight, but will Cus stay alive? He will. Healing Potion is going to keep him and his teammates there. Dread Serpent comes out from Jera, but Healing Potion again is going to keep everyone alive. And a whirlwind from Bodies might just do the deed. There's Sheepa into the Heat Haze, but he will fall. And Astral Authority will Both of the Astral Authority tanks are extremely low. Evil Eye able to fight back with one kill. He doesn't see no, him. Before. Bugs is in the back. He doesn't see him coming. This is nuts. Bugsy playing so well. Going for the King Bomb. Wants to find the stun. He's going to get it. Rampage for the King Bomb. Though forced into an early immortal. Nice angle from Dosips here. Finds one. Looking for two. Evil Eye already found Tell one. Me. Nice pincer maneuver from Astral Authority. They clean up five for nothing. Tell me. Here, Wardoom has returned. Sheepa looking for a good angle. He's going to find it. Bodies has to win this 1v1, but he gets planted into the wall. Bad positioning there by Bodies. Just gets caught between a rock and a Shaolin. And That's that huge. Drogos gets caught out of the air as well. Sheepa just carrying this fight for D69. Gus Judy's Mega Post is going to give them a little bit more life sustain. But Sheepa. Are they going to get Jera? Oh, they CC don't get immunity. him. Their incredible resilience. Able to get him away so quickly. And that's Slither coming through. He's not going to be able to get any of that out of there. The damage is real. D69. The plays are real. Jera again with another snake and a double kill to finish it off. And the trash talk continues. D69. can freely set themselves up because all of these bombs do so much damage and no one's been able to do anything. Lazy gets the kill on Joel's even though Josh Kett picks up two. He still has the wall ready to go as well, but still Lazy in the background for free. He finds himself a double kill and continues to come out onto Hades. This Makoa is very also very low and looking for more damage. Can they find any way? It's a very aggressive Dread Serpent. Nobody's contesting the point. 87% deal with the double kill. Bonker with the kill of his own. 96, 99 and with the finishing blows. Carbon 6 take it 4 to 1 and move into rematch against D69 in the finals. Oh my goodness. Look at the
Here comes the Dragon Punch, looking for a Bugs. He needs to find something, looking for something. Got Anything him. will find Bonker. Taking him down, Lace has got a good angle. One rocket, two rocket, three rocket. Dump. Six, the law comes through. Shield popped up, but Bonker will take two. Elvis Path and Jera get it. Lazy and Feel pick up two of their own, but Perdo here grabbing a double, grabbing a triple. Did he just save this? Lazy and Elvis Path ready to fight again. Another buff, big dragon punch coming out from Lazy Fire Spit over oh, the top. Connects oh. on the two. Double kill for Lazy. Looking for.